<laughs> so guys, yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I know different scenery. I'm already dressed up. If you can't see, if you didn't see it on my Instagram, I always I'm a lot more active on there. It's a bit harder on. YouTube obviously if you've been on my Instagram you know what's been going on hence why I haven't really been uploading as much um, but I'm just trying to get back on track so hopefully you will start seeing some more content once again but um, yeah today we are going to another little exhibition I just found about literally just last night and I was like oh, let's head there I'm actually quite sick at the moment so don't mind the sniffling and the coughing and the sneezing and the watery eyes and stuff but yeah, stick around. This is supposed to be an amazing video because I am really excited to see this. And yeah, let's see where they go from here. All right, people, so we just made it outside the exhibition. Um, obviously, I'm late as usual, so I'm just waiting on, uh, what's it called? The queue to start moving up, so we'll head inside. Uh, I'm very, I am very sick, so you, if you guys can tell already. so. So either way, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video nonetheless. If you guys don't know what the serial killers are, then you've been living under a rock. Wow! First of all, second of all, this is mostly about like people just like Ted Bundy or um, Jeffrey Dahmer or the Zodiac Killer, like a hundred others that killed for just for the sake of killing. And there's a lot of their memorabilia, original handwritten letters, notes and whatnot. And I kind of am quite obsessed when it comes to stuff like this. I've always um, watched documentaries, read about them, researched as much as I can. So I am really looking forward to this little one. I'm dressed a little fancier than usual as well for that specific reason as well. And hopefully we can have a good event and hopefully get a souvenir. I'm really hoping to get a nice souvenir so I can show it at home. Because my older brother Brockway loves, and I mean he loves them, absolutely adores them. He will watch, um, he'll watch this over like, say, Brooklyn Nine-Nine or Friends or Office, any, any of the shows. So it's going to be extremely entertaining to see this firsthand and, you know, maybe, maybe take some mem memorabilia for him. So he'll be motivated for the next one to come with me. So, yeah, again, again, I really do want to explain why I wasn't in my I wasn't uploading. So. I had a lot of stuff going down back home in Pakistan and I honestly I just could not comprehend making videos in the time in that time period where I was really down and in the dumps. I did my best, I made some content, some stuff that I was close to the deadline for. But honestly I'm just disappointed in myself and the government because obviously you guys know I don't mention this a lot or at all on my social media about my past or my political standing any of that stuff because I'm not a fan of this stuff but it obviously gets to a certain point where you need to address something that's getting completely out of hand and that's what I've been doing but yeah this is the only other time I'm ever going to talk about this so if you've got any other questions or queries about this you can just send me a dm on instagram or send me an email and i'll definitely give you a lot more guidance into this but this is the last time i'm going to be talking about this on my social media because it's quite disappointing and it really does put me out of the mood like it does not make me motivated to do anything other than just like stay in the room and just listen to music so yeah but on after this depressing side note Let's quickly get in and we'll continue the video from there. Also, this is a really good place. Like, it's in a tunnel and it's like all graffiti up. There's a guy behind us doing graffiti as well. But yeah, I'll see you guys once we're inside. Okay, so people, we're heading in. I've got an audio guide on my phone, so I might be listening to that, but I'm not sure yet. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god, this looks quite astonishing so far. I mean, there's not a lot here. The Genoa serial killer is someone who unlawfully kills two or more victims during difficult ev different events and not by profession. And they've got a little wall mural of all the um, serial killers. Let me show you guys quickly. Take a look. This is actually quite cool. Because like, oh my god, I know a lot of these people because like, I've seen the documentaries and whatnot. Just take a look of all of this. But yeah, let's head inside quickly. 
Uh, I'm going to quickly put on the audio tour and the audio guide and I'm going to... Before I move forward, oh my god, we've got Jack the Ripper, one of the biggest confusions for the UK. Literally, take a look guys. I'll just move back so you guys can pause it and read it if you wanna. This is so cool. In case you guys can't tell already, the first act is um, Jack the Ripper. So we've got another little, we've got a lot of his letters and notes about it. People are over there taking pictures. I'll slowly make my way around, give you guys a little view, and damn bro, who is Jack the Ripper? We need to find that out now. Guys, I'm not sure if I can show this on YouTube. If I can't, I will take the, I will blur this all out, but oh my God, look at this massacre. This is all fake blood, by the way, but holy hell. This is um, how Jack the Ripper used to kill in the east end of London. Oh damn, I live in the east, east, east end of London. Holy hell, this is this is creepy. I want to go home now. I regret coming here. Like people, there's a lot of people here. Like, um, sorry, I'm whispering a little bit. I just don't want to scream this group quite here. We've got the Yorkshire Ripper, um, the Racist Killer, the South African Strangler, and then there's one guy, Herbert something, I'm not pronouncing his name, so I'm just go through one by one with all of them um, yeah I'm just gonna make it a really quick little b-roll so hopefully you guys enjoy this like 10th like thingy in here 10th mercy killer and boy oh boy I'm enjoying this audio as well obviously I'm taking content from Instagram and TikTok but holy that's all I'm gonna say people this is this is something else you guys have to come to see it I will leave, leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check this out this is honestly amazing as I head up these stairs I see a John Gracie wax statue and holy fudge this is scary oh my god there's gonna be a lot of editing here for <laughs> guys I'm actually genuinely getting shivers this is insanely scary um I'll flip the camera around in a second hopefully you guys are enjoying this video come on people I'm going entertaining things for you guys to make sure you're still hooked onto my channel. Uh, the least you guys can do is give me a like, subscribe, comment if you're new. But yeah, we'll quickly switch the camera around so you guys can see the exhibition now. There's John Gracie in all of his creepy glory. Then we've got the whole little autobiography right here. You can pause the video, read it if you want. Then we've got this, this little creepy setup with the buried bodies inside of the kitchen this little artwork right here i don't know why my camera is a bit tilted i can't be asked to worry about that right now people or uh like letters by john gracie stuff that you like i don't know guys i'm just starstruck at the moment of course business card though the information about him right here holy hell and the previous clip oh my god we've got Jeffrey Dahmer next. Holy, the Milwaukee cannibal. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be something. The autobiography right there. Pause it and read. Like I said earlier, guys. I'm not stopping. This is far too much entertaining. You've got some memorabilia. If you want to see this up close, you can see on my Instagram story. I will leave a link in the description and an attraction on screen right now. Even more Jeffrey Dahmer memorabilia. Let me just get a closer shot. This is insane. They've even got Jeffrey Dahmer's original glasses here as well. The next one is one that I've been extremely waiting for. So this is Ted Bundy. And for those of you who do not know who Ted Bundy is, I highly suggest to click off this video, go watch a Ted Bundy documentary on Netflix honestly your your whole perception of, of 
this shit will completely change. Watch the Ted Bundy videos and the documentaries ASAP. I know really a lot about the Night Stalker as well, so here's a look at his old biography on the evidences and authentic, like, say, um, memorabilia that he had. And there's a little, I think this is the Night Stalker, um, so what's mode of it? But Jesus, this is creepy. Look at this. So they've got like, oh my god, a bucket full of uh, two buckets, safety goggles, belt, zip ties, a gun with a pistol. So, I'm not even saying that word. Poop kitten keys. Poop kitten keys. Right, we've got a torture board, like torture. I, I don't even want to know what what happens in those. Oh, sh I see the picture. Oh my god, this is terrifying. And for YouTube, let me just remind you, this is all, um, like, this isn't real blood, these aren't real people bones either. And a little book, so I'm excited to see that when I get home, and I have a poster as well, so I'll show you guys all that once I get home. So stick around, stay tuned for the next video. There's a quick little serial killer test here. I want to take a look at it as well. I want to give it a try. So this seems interesting. The person before me got lower than average psychopathic tendencies. I feel like I might get... At least above average. I don't know. Let's see what happens here, people. Fat I am. The subject has an excessive need for stimulation as for boredom. Yes. The subject at some stage in his or her life received a mild remand or a warning from authorities on the cushion that he wouldn't. Yes. The subject usually exempts himself from responsibility and is accountable to no one in his life. Sort of. Subject has an habit of being a risk of problems it does Yes. Has many serious romantic relationships that broke up after a short period of time. Nope. He's a pathological liar. Sometimes. Not really a payback, just a few months later. Yes, very much so. Subject has no realistic long term goals, example, drifting through life or falling in with parents that will not. Has often deceived, tricked, or manipulated people. Nope. Has a history of delinquency or juvenile crime. Nope. No. Has a history of cruel gestures towards others. Nope. This su the subject has little stubborn and finds including impulses. Yes, very impulsive. Subject shows lack of guilt or remorse sometimes. Has been superficial. Emotional responses, yes. Has committed different types of offenses. His criminal have been to one serious such as sexual offense or others. No. The subject does not have an easy or unrestricted social life. Yes, very much. I don't. The subject has exaggerated self esteem. Yes, I do. So it is insensitive or lacks empathy. No. Oh no. Let's see how much of a single color I am. I think I'm a lot more. Oh. This person, this makes the person who you rated 46% more <laughs> psychopathic than the average person. The person does not qualify as a psychopath still. All right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not. I'm not a psychopath yet. Yet. We just came down a bit more, and there's like psychopath uh, tests. I feel like there's a lot of them up ahead as well. We're going to take a look at those in a bit. We've got the Muswin Hill murder. Um, there's a lot of a crowd. I'll get a quick shot for you guys. That guy's chilling. There we are. Typewriter. <laughs> well, I just finished my tour at the exhibition. I am going to run home because I am actually quite hungry and tired and sleepy and scared and tired and scared. And yes, I know it is dark, I'm going underneath the bridge, and I still haven't figured out how to turn on the flash or brightness on this thing yet. I'm still learning. This camera is far too fancy for me. But yeah, we are just gonna head home real quick because obviously it might start to rain again and I'm not trying to take a shower. We've got a few goodies in my hand right here. So I'll show you them once we're home. God, I need a nasal spray, like, bad i saw boots on my way to the exhibition so i think i'm just gonna run to the boots real quick and 
get me uh, a nasal spray. But again, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new. And yeah, subscribe guys, because I'm going to find something every other day to make, keep making sure these videos are entertaining for you. And I love making them, so, you know, just that little like button, the little subscribe, leaving a few comments, it tells me that you guys do enjoy them as well. So, yeah, come on people, show me some love. I'm desperate for it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to quickly head home and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.